Welcome back to Canva and fun with Canva. Tonight we are going to get into something exciting and hope that this improves your skills as much as it did mine. So we're going to have a look at creating a puzzle in Canva. Now in Canva there is in elements, if we go over here, select all, there is a fabulous puzzle piece frame now we're going to use that and we're going to do a 4x4 four four frame so that's our end product so we'll just come down to the bottom add page change this one back to white we'll go to elements and we'll choose that puzzle piece now it's important that we get these puzzle pieces the right way around. So if we have a look at this puzzle piece here in product, we're facing up like that, out like that, down and out like that. So we need to make sure that we've got that set up here. So we're going to create a 4x4. Four four. So we'll duplicate that. Plug that in there and then we'll duplicate that one we'll plug that in there we'll duplicate that one and we'll plug that in there so what we're going to do now is just going to highlight all those reduce that in size and then we're just going to duplicate that all the way through duplicate it again and duplicate it again and just to be sure that we've got everything in order there we'll change that to black so you can see one two three four by one two three four so we'll just highlight all those and we'll drag it out and place it roughly about the center. So the picture that we're going to use is this one here for this tutorial. Okay, so we'll drag that in and we've got it duplicated the number of times of the tiles. So I'll highlight that, duplicate it a couple of times, then we'll drag it into each tile piece. And you can see I'm just dragging into the ones that are in the upright position because we're going to have to turn the other pieces around as you can see for the other tile pieces. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we drag this in here holding like we did before the mouse key and drag it into the frame, you can see that it rotates to the right so we've just got to make sure that we rotate that the right way. No, that's not right. So we'll rotate that again that way. And to save some time, what we can do is delete those ones and then just duplicate this number of times we need it and we'll come here and place 
side in there. Nice side in there. Nice side in there. That in there, and the last one in there. So there, there you have it. We have each of the tile pieces or puzzle pieces uh, filled with a image. So what we've got to do now is start to build the puzzle with the lady's face. So if we double click on that and we've got to line it up with the top here and the sides. So you can do it from either side. So I will do it from this side. And you come down here and line it up. So you've got the bottom lined up, the sides lined up, and the top lined up. Okay and then you press the done button so you repeat that for each stage so enlarge it line it up drag it down and go done Done. Okay, same here. Drag it out. Point it up. So you can see that this one won't move anymore to the left because it's reached its boundaries. So as long as all those edges are lined up, press done. Sorry, my, my apologies, bring it over to this side. Press done. So you can see that the face is now starting to come together there. So again, drag it up, line it up, line up on the top and the sides, press done. Work your way through. So you can choose any photo really for this. I've just chosen this photo because I was working with it before. I'm doing it in a slightly different direction to what I did before. So I lined up the top, the side, the bottom, press done. So it will appear a bit different to the other photo I showed you before. But the basic principle of what we're doing is the same. Okay, so you can start to see the face lines up there. Okay, done. So there, there you can start to see the faces all coming together. And it's just a matter of repeating this process for the number of puzzle frames that you have. Done. 
Hey. Watch that. Okay, done. Extend that. Check that, okay, done. Watch that out. Okay. okay. Done. And really, I mean, it just depends on how creative you are. You can go as many tiles as you feel you have time to put together because it is a little bit time consuming um, but at the end of the day we are all addicted to Canva and we do it because we really enjoy doing this sort of stuff so really appreciate uh, Canva for making the product that they have made and allowing us to use this program and making it so affordable for all of us to use. So there you have it, a different uh, side of this photo, but basically all the tile pieces are connected together with the person's face so the next thing you can do is I'll just copy oh no, actually what we can do is duplicate that page all right I'll change the background there to something a bit lighter so now that you've got all that together you can be a bit creative you can remove that tile piece there rotate it can move remove that tile piece there rotate it take this one out here rotate it so you can do so many awesome things now that you've got the image within the frame and um, yeah so hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, keep practicing and like me uh, you'll be able to do this blindfolded maybe I haven't tried that yet but uh, that's one of the next things. All right, folks, enjoy, and we'll see you in the next tutorial with uh, Fun with Canva. Bye for now.